So in college and everywhere else, we are told about how to draw the body plot, but we are not really told about what exactly a body plot is and where exactly is it applied. And the focus of this video is going to be what a body plot is and where it is used. So by definition, we get that a Bode plot is a graphical method to draw the frequency response for a linear time invariant system and it consists of a magnitude plot and a phase plot. Okay, so what are all these terms now? Now this is all way too much of textbook. Let's break these things down. So let's begin with the basics. So an LTI is a linear and a time invariant system. Beginning with the easy one and the one which is self-explanatory, a time invariant system is one where the output of that system does not depend on the timing of the input given to the system. Now let us try and understand what a linear system is. A linear system is simply one which follows the superposition principle. Now what is the superposition principle? It is something that follows the laws of additivity and homogeneity. Again, that sounds a lot like textbook and we don't want that. First, let us look at the law of additivity. Consider a system S to which if I give an input signal AI of T, I get the output A0 of T. And similar is the case guys, when I give the input signal bi of t, I get b0 of t. Just as an example guys. Now let us do something that the name itself suggests. Let us add these two output signals. Which means I am going to add a0 of t and b0 of t. And the output, since it is simple addition, I am going to get a0 of t plus b0 of t. Now again, this time I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do the same addition, but an addition on the input signals. So I'm going to add the two input signals a i of t and b i of t before I send the input signal to the system s. So this time, if the output is again a naught of t plus b naught of t, then the system is said to follow the law of additivity. However, if the output is different from a0 of t plus b0 of t, then the system is not following the law of additivity. Same inputs, same outputs, same system, but the additions take place at different points. Now let us look at law of homogeneity where I'm considering a similar system S. And again, I am giving a similar input a i of t and I am getting the output a naught of t. And I am going to multiply this output with a constant. Remember, this is a constant. I am not multiplying it with a different signal. I am multiplying this with a constant k and the final value that I am getting is k times a naught of t. Now I am going to do a similar thing. I'm going to multiply the input signal with k before I give it to the system s. Now, if the output is again k times a0 of t, then the system is obeying the law of homogeneity. And to conclude, any system that obeys the laws of additivity and homogeneity is considered a linear system. Now we have been told that the frequency response contains the magnitude plot and the phase plot. Now what exactly is this and what do we get from it? Consider a system you operate at different frequencies and you want to know how the magnitude and phase are changing with respect to the frequencies. And this is exactly what a frequency response is. So you're going to plot how the magnitude is going to change with respect to a change in frequency. How is it increasing or decreasing with change in frequency? And then we do the same with phase. How is it changing with respect to frequency? So we can conclude that the Bode plot is a simple graph that just tracks the magnitude and phase changes with respect to changes in frequency. 
So by graphing the Bode plot, we will be able to know the stability of a system. Say you have plotted the graph by changing different frequencies and for those frequencies you have found out the magnitude and phase changes. You will be able to tell that this system is stable between X and Y frequencies and is unstable for other frequencies. There are also terms called gain margin and phase margin which I will cover in my other videos. Now if you ask me why do we need this body plot? I need you to think of yourself as a controls engineer. Now as a controls engineer, you wouldn't want your system to be unstable. Be it a lead or a lag compensator or a high pass filter, you do not and you cannot afford your system to be unstable. You want to know the stability of your system well beforehand before you deploy it so there you go that is the reason you need the body plot for to find out your stable operating frequency as a controls engineer now the next question that you might ask me is there are so many softwares out there like MATLAB and Scilab that can do it for you just give them the transfer function and they will do it for you now, why do you specifically need to go ahead and sketch the Bode plot? Moreover, Henrik Bode designed this at Bell Labs almost a hundred years ago. Do we still need to know how to plot it? Well, the answer to that question is yes. Well, because regardless of what softwares can do for you today, you need to know how to plot it. And the more important reason is, don't you have that question for your exam?